Wherever I go, everyone is the pack. <laughs> Stay away. Just don't come any closer. No. Dang, his whole head. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. Oh, it's like that? Oh. Dang. Oh, wow. <laughs> Madam Yukon, lend me your bow. She did it before you even finished the sentence. She aimed it. She aimed it perfectly. Oh, there goes our O'Malley. I felt that. Ow. I felt that one too. A war dance, wolf hunt showdown starts now. <laughs> so feeble. Such weakness is truly pathetic. See, they actually died though. They just lost all their lives. I've noticed, uh, whoa. A long time for this, Hule. I see the shower and send some young cubs to the slaughter. Remember this. Like the, uh, soundtrack. Does the Sen Jo Lafu not have any warriors? Very scary. I wouldn't let my guard down if I were you. It's about time this old wolf tasted defeat at the hands of a young cub. Yeah, that's the great uh, soundtrack, Wuhule. Oh. Oh. I've had enough. Time to finish this game. What's happening? Not long ago. <laughs> still have one little secret hidden up my sleeve. Oh no. Did he poison himself, his own blood? Tumble dust. <laughs> oh shoot. I drank it a while ago. And the poison is already flowing through my veins. Sooner or later, you will begin to feel the effects. Tumble dust. <laughs> So, you want to play dirty? It's colder. My sword is even colder. Nice. Oh, dude, they actually that's I like that. They actually put it in there. Tumble dust. Set of each turn consumes five HP. That's a good attention detail right there. I was curious to see if they actually put like the name of the poison. Impossible. How could a mere whelp defeat me? Whelp. And Phasia. Oh no way. Where did that come from, Yang Ching? Just a flashback of Jing Liu's teaching? Oh, okay. That's just it's a little later than my expectations. <laughs> Yang Ching has joined a team temporarily. Oh no. I 
Oh, the heart. has all the plans. I don't understand. We cannot allow this thing to spread. I will do all within my power to consume this crimson moon. Once oh. the situation changes, Lieutenant Yen Ching, you are to enforce the Cloud Knight's military rules. Understood. How can she just control that? Or is that her? Oh, what? Dang. General. Oh, so this is how it happens. But wouldn't that mean she would lose herself? Die, Borison. Don't have wolf ears. <laughs> I forgot all of that. I will not allow any of you to leave the Sky Splitter. Madden. Does she think we're her enemies? Madden Phaja. Hulei just wanted to take down the general, even at the cost of his own life. Snap out of it, general. Hmm. See, I thought like that was the thing that was gonna kill Phaja. Like I thought. That's what Zhao Cho was trying to stop. But, like, I thought when it happened, like, it'd be over. Like, she would just lose. She wouldn't be phased out anymore. I guess we'll find out. Oh, you done messed up now. Hey, she switched. Nice. She said, "I'll leave the next part to you." Ooh. She put her faith in us. Miss me. I promise. Say, miss me. I will what? kill you. It's like hard to hear him. This time, waiting for this day to come. Sympathy. Like Acheron's uh, thing from Panicone. Justice. Doubt. The universe in its original form. Moon rage. Death. Betrayal. Enemy of Zianjiao. Fear. Betrayal of trust. You are also an abomination. Monster. Morrison, Warhead. Your future. Return to the pack. A new path. Do you see me? Shooting star. Oh. The knights are sworn. To protect the Sanjo. Who threw that? I will uphold this vow until my very last day. Oh! Your name as my prey. 
Oh, this is Hule. Hule is trying to. And show you how cowardly and powerless you truly are, Hule. <laughs> Electric inner beast oh, and shadow of Asia. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, I'm surprised. The dice have been We're not cast. dead. My only enemy has always been myself. Mm. <laughs> March. General. March is like, stop. General, you're awake. So that was what she was fearing the entire time? Is that what Judge Cho was trying to help with the entire time? The wolf hunt mission has come to a smooth end. As the warhead is defeated and slain, the wolf troopers can no longer resist and they're completely unrealmed by the hot knights. You and Moe's find Zhao Cho, who's at death's door. This time there's one more business that needs to be settled with or on the affair around Hule's jailbreak. <gasps> no! Miss Bailu! Bailu! Mr. Dan Hung and Sister Ling Sha! You might not be you, but you will still be you. What? <laughs> As the oath dictates, members of the Alliance are forbidden from harming Vidyatara here. But I have long since hmm. severed ties with the Alliance. Right now, I'm simply a nameless, free to come and go as I please. Mm. The oath of the Xianzhou means nothing to the spear in my hand. You gotcha on that one. Ooh. Oh. That was quick. Dang. Get them. Do whatever it takes. Just javelin throwed him. He said, Well, I'm not a part of the alliance, so <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Lasers. Oh, seventh, I didn't think you'd. What? Miss March! My dear Miss March! She's fine. Uh, I was only in the bathroom for a little bit, and you've already <laughs> arranged my death? Next time, let's not play overly realistic make believe with this doofus, okay? Dang! Zhao Cho, your eyes. You can't see anymore. Can you? Oh, shoot. Are you serious? I can still clearly hear the sound of the waves. That's enough for me. I'll be honest. I'd feel bad, but I feel like he always has his eyes closed anyways. So there's not much of a difference. Followed the crimson if he had his eyes open, maybe it'd be like, oh, but dude always has his eyes closed. Now fight by throwing spices aimlessly. <laughs> What? The remains of the swarm author? More accurately, it's a fragment of the divine body. In the future they depicted, this fragment serves as the final nail, sealing the fate of the plague's author and securing its doom. Dude has the swarm creator in his coffin? Before reaching that point, Battling the gods necessitates a larger alliance. Hence, they sought out an ally for the Sienjo. The swarm author? I assume 
You've all heard of the famed Genius Society member number 81, Ron May, haven't you? Nope, never heard of her. The I of the huge way has just seen this uninvited guest arrive on the San Joe Uh, excuse me? Right on time. Oh boy. Now, as for the best way oh to receive boy. our distinguished guest, I'll leave that in your capable hands. It's over. Oh, a fragment of a. Uh, oh, Tazzy Ronk. The one associated. Do you remember your name? Uh. My name is. <gasps> Is this old? Is it alive? Oh, what did they put at the very end like that? Ting Yun's alive? Nah, that was old. That was old. They were just they were just debating us. She's not she's not alive. She's not alive. That's just a debate. That's just a debate. Hear me out. I'm be thinking of Ranmei's creation. Oh, like Ranmei created something that has that has that voice, but it's not actually Ting Yun. Because yeah, they, they were talking all about Ting Yun, or sorry, talking about all about Ranmei, and then all of a sudden she was talking. So. Mmm, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I feel like that's some kind of twist. I feel it's some kind of twist just because... I don't know, it's been, it's been so long. I mean, they could, you know, they could... The writers are good like that. They could have been holding off for a long time, but... I'm pretty sure that the end job stuff is over for now, until we come back next time. Maybe next time it'll be about Ting Yun. Oh, so maybe it's like, yeah, because it sounds like a project. They're not showing her for a reason. Yeah, I hope Ting Yun 2.7 isn't like that. Waiting for her to before be too long. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if, if it, she even is gonna be something. But yeah, she's talking to her like it's an experiment, or like it's some kind of like, you know, like how scientists do, where it's like they bring something up, or they bring something to life, and it's like, do you know who you are? Do you remember what your name is? Stuff like that. So, yeah, I agree. I don't think it's Ting Yun. Ting Yun is actually back, but I think Ron May was testing something, and kind of, you know, brought her gray matter or her substance back to life but not her actual body some kind of project I, it'll be nice to see ting yoon ting yoon again i'm not gonna get my hopes up but if we do see it it's most likely like you said it's probably something that ron may was working on unless, unless ron may somehow managed to bring back ting yoon or like put her mind in someone else's body or something. The merchant guild Ting Yun was representing. They found no cargo or people at the crash site. However, they established that Ron May may have encountered the ship first. Oh. So when we went to the crash site, it's possible that Ron May was there first before we got there. Obviously, it's all pure speculation at this point, but there may be some hope for Ting Yun fans that Ron May found her real body on the ship, saving her from death. Of course, this was only the worrying aspect to it. If Ron May is the one who found her, there's a non zero chance that Sweet Ting Yun is currently undergoing some form of exper experimentation. Playable Leviathan Ting Yun hybrid, anyone? <laughs> Interesting. So, Ron May found Ting Yun. Po yeah, possibly. Possibly. Nah. Most likely. I'd say most likely. I feel like the like Yukong should have I mean we did go there, but I feel like Yukong would have been the first one to be like, Oh my gosh, Ting Yun. You know? 
But yeah, maybe Ron May, maybe it was for the best that Ron May beat us to her. As far as the story goes, um, I think it was all right. That one, uh, since it was split into two parts, it was really funny to see Yang Ching and um, uh, Yun Li go at it in the beginning. Yang Ching and uh, Yun Li bickering was fun. And then, like, you know, Fei Zhao's appearance in the first part. But as, yeah, but as for this story in this part, I don't know. I feel like thing like things got what's the word? Loose ends got tied for sure. But I kind of feel like everything happened pretty rapidly in terms of like build up. Like Hule lived for seven centuries, and then all of a sudden, oh, Fei got him. He's done. You know. Um, I like Jing Yuan's plan in the background with the whole you know everybody's on the ship, but it's all the Cloud Knights. Getting to understand that, like what Feja was uh, scared of, our true fear, Moza in there. The video hour thing at the end and getting just impaled. Feja versus Feja. But yeah, overall, I don't know. Nothing really left a big impression on me through this story. I got. I gotta say, I might. I might even say I might like the first part more. I mean, Feijia was cool, though, that's for sure. And then in the little ending here with Ting Yan. But it just seemed like kind of reminded me of one of those things where Hule kind of kept on having the next step ahead, but we still just kind of prevailed anyways. <laughs> like, they set him up to be a good villain. It seemed like he was always prepared, but it seemed like we were also prepared as well. And there were some stakes. You know, we Zhao Cho did lose his eyesight. And, you know, had the, the forehead, the five head play of poisoning himself. Uh, and I'll also say, too, uh, what's it called? Luocha. Luocha's, like, reveal of what's actually in the coffin. Didn't get to physically see it, but we got to know what, what is there. But, yeah, that's just all right. It didn't leave a lasting impression on me. I mean, of course, I'll remember it for sure. But nothing really jumped out for this story for me. Uh, there's still a word dance to do. I'm not sure if that'll tie into that, but yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's alright.